Hi and a really big welcome to the channel. I'm Gary. Thanks for joining me today for this look at Rattlesnakes. It's classic piece of Lloyd Cole and the commotions. Just bought tickets to see Lloyd Cole actually in Manchester, January 25. It's some, some time off now. Looking forward to it. Bit of nostalgia. It's a long time since I've seen him. This has been requested by quite a few of you. I've done a couple of other Lloyd Cole songs on the channel. So it's going to be a quick lesson. We, it's going to be all on acoustic. I'm going to zoom in as always. We'll break it down. I'll show you the parts I've come up with. If you're new to the channel, then I'm really glad you found us. And as I always say, I uh, hope you like the lesson. And if you do, then please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It's going to help me grow it. Anyway, let's zoom in. We're going to get close up and we'll look at rattlesnakes. Okay, there we go, we're in up close now. Hopefully you can see everything there. So, uh, as I said in the introduction, I'm gonna approach this all as an acoustic lesson. The main guitar part on this track uh, is played on acoustic guitar anyway, and it mainly uses chords E and D in this open position. Now, if you look at old footage of the commotions playing, you'll see Lloyd playing this on a semi-acoustic guitar with a capo, the second fret, and he's playing Instead of those chords, he's playing D, which goes up to an E with the capo, and C, which goes up to the D with the capo. So don't be confused by that. We're just going to look at the main guitar part, which is in the open position. So it starts with a nice riff. I'll play through it, and then we'll break it down. It sounds like this. Okay, so it's a nice riff. It starts with the open sixth string E, nice low E. While that's ringing out, slide up from 2 to 4 on the A string, then an open D string, and then D2, so that's the octave of this E. Okay, so behind that we've got the guitars come in, the band come in, with an E. Now I think it makes sense on this one, I think it becomes an E6 actually if you put your little finger down on second fret of the B string there. Which kind of mimics what's going on in the riff. sense if you're playing it as an acoustic performer on your own and you're not going to be able to play the riff you're going to be uh, just stuck with the limited to you just using chords but you can use that move it just gives a little flavor of what's going on uh, with the riff behind it play the D chord, and then striking upwards, hammering on and off there, second fret of the first string. Okay, sometimes it just goes times it goes listen to the record for reference uh, but that's going to give some of the feel of the song if you're just playing this on an acoustic guitar so we'll look at the verse chords and the chorus chords next all right so I've had the introduction coming into the first verse so I'll just sing along for reference with my bad voice and sore throat even worse uh, on our E Joey wears a hat although it hasn't been for six really but that's it and then we go into the chorus she looks like and chorus again. 
And again there, little interlude goes into the second verse and chorus. Okay, so after that first verse and chorus, we get the verse pattern appearing twice next time around. So we'll play through it next chorus as well. Uh, it sounds like this. She's less than sure if her heart has come to stay in San Jose. to the chorus, slightly different lyrics this time, so looks like to E, there's a short instrumental. All right, so in this instrumental section, the guitar's just moving between A and G. Now, when we land on the G chord, play a nice little riff there. Starting with the root of the chord, sixth string, third fret. A2, open D string, open G string. Also, there's a kind of walk up using the major scale, something like this. Which is just passing notes between the A and G. I, don't, I think if you're playing this on acoustic guitar, you're unlikely to play that. You're probably just going to be strumming the chords, but I mention it for completeness. We come out of that section, it's a G, up to a D, and then back into the, the next verse and chorus. There's a bit following that, again, listen to the, the track for, for reference of uh, where all these parts fit in, but the band just sort of sits back slightly and you get more of an acoustic strum. carries on like that and then fades out using those E and D chord changes. So that's it, that's Rattlesnakes, classic piece of 80s pop, Love Lloyd Cole, it's a great song so I really hope you've enjoyed it, as always let me know what you think, I really love to hear from you, as I always say guys, enjoy your guitar playing and I'll see you real soon.